top of the morning to you people. Um, it's Friday morning. It's about, I think it's about half seven. Quarter to eight. I've been up since five o'clock this morning again. Um, right, where are we? Let me think. Well, last night I lost a fish. Can't believe it. The wind dropped last night, so I put that rod back over to the pads. I mean, instead of putting a bag on, um, I just put a normal rig on, just a normal boilie rig. Went slightly bigger with the baits. Um, I went round there, baited up, you know, just with a little bit of bait like I have been doing, just with cement that's been soaked in molasses with. Um, and I've been baiting with a bit of pellet as well, but I decided to put some an handful of mixed boilies into it and a few chops in it. Not a lot, just a bit. So I went over there and instead of spreading the bait either side of the lilies, I decided just to put it just around the front and this will decide rather than taking it all the way around. Hey, hold on, let me have a look. Let's see if you can see. Uh, where are we? Yeah, so the lilies are over here. So in instead of baiting all the way around like I've been doing, I've just baited like the front and round this bit just in case anybody comes this side again so it's a waste of time me casting and more towards that way so I did that and put that boy rig out there and then I had a liner last night and I thought I could see fish over there and then I was sat here my rods were out for the night and it was about 8 o'clock and I had a run but it was a steady run do 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 and I thought oh is that a liner but, but no it kept going kept going kept going so I got all lifted into it fish on so I stepped back and stepped back to pull it away from the lily pads which I did do and then started reeling down on it and it started kiting to the right and it was kiting to the right and then all of a sudden it felt like it had gone solid like it it it, it, it hit some weed or something but it weren't like jetting off it was just like plodding off to the right like I say, um, and then it felt like it went into like some weed or something, and I, I just lifted back slightly like that, and the next thing you know, bam, it was off. Couldn't believe it. So whether or not it had gone into weed and knocked the hook out, or it weren't a very good hook holder, I don't know. But I've had a couple of runs on this other rod, my close-in rod down here, down here again and I've had a couple of them like pick proper pickups where the, the bobbin's gone 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 pretty fast fastish pickups as well I've had two of them one this morning and one last night I think it was or yesterday and I've picked the rod up and it's like still running pick the rod up and then that's it there's just nothing there and I can't make any head and tail of it I don't know if it's small fish doing it or it is carp and for some reason they're just not getting up properly yet my hooks feel sharp the sharp hooks out of the packet um, when I'm fishing with a liner on the hook with the break in the, the stiff I'm fishing with a stiff link with a figure of eight loop at the top um, with a slight break in the coating before the hook to give it a hinge and then I've got a liner liner on um, you know and I've got the hair set about 10 mil off of the bend of the hook and the, hook, the rigs are turning perfectly alright in my hand like they normally do so I don't know I can't understand it so what I'm going to do when I reel my rods in this morning I'm going to uh, make sure that the rigs that I put are put out, instead of being just straight hooks out of the packet, I'm going to sharpen them up, get my file out, 
I'm really sharpening them. And the funny thing is, you know, the rig that I put out yesterday over at the pads. Oh no, sorry, I didn't. I was going to say I'd sharpen that, but I hadn't. No, I hadn't. No, I hadn't. That was on another rig the, the other day. Yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to fetch both rigs in. If I haven't got to retie, I've got some new ones retied, but what I'm going to do is run the file over. Um, and make them really, really sticky, sharp. And then just see and see if it happens again. And if it happens again and I get picked up and the same thing happens where something's just running with it, I lift up and then it's gone. Then it's obvious it's small fish picking up the boiler. Not getting up, just picking the boiler up in the mouse and running with it. But we'll soon find out. But that's what I'm going to do anyway. So the wind's picking up a little bit again today, but. I've got enough water to last me till tomorrow. I might even have enough water to last me till Sunday morning. If I've got enough to last me till Sunday morning. If I haven't had a fish by Saturday, I might stop till Sunday morning. And then go and pick the dog up on my way back. Um, I've got just about enough food. I've got enough bait. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to side off for now anyway. Make myself a drink and then get myself organised for, for this morning. And get these rigs these hooks sharpened up. I'm going to have a good walk around the pond as well this morning. A good walk. I had to get a bit of exercise. So, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed it comes today, people. I've got to have one. I've got to have one. I've spent that many days on this place. I mean, I've really put the time and effort in there. So, let's just hope it pays off. Right tight lines. I'll catch up in a bit people.